So, have you secured an interview for your dream job? But you are nervous about it. While there is no shortcut to guarantee you will get the job, you can follow some tips to give it your best shot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Misha. In this video, I am going to share with you tips about body language in job interviews. Body language is very important when you meet someone for the first time. It let the other person know if you are confident or nervous. In an interview, this become even more important as the interviewer has very little time to form their opinion about you. We will discuss the importance of the first handshake, your overall posture and the movement you make with your head, shoulders, eyes, arms, legs, voice and hands and some tips on how to control your body posture. The tips I will share are based on my experiences not only as a fresher but also as an experienced interviewer. The first handshake will be your only moment of physical contact with the interviewer. Your handshake should be neither bone crushing nor like a limb fish. Aim for a firm handshake, make eye contact and smile. Do you sweat excessively? Then please refresh yourself before you enter. Make sure you always carry a handkerchief with you to dry your hands and to wipe your forehead. If you get sweaty hands just before your interview, then dry them on your knees when you get up from your chair. Avoid clammy hands as they can give the impression that you are nervous. Try to ensure a natural smile, a firm voice and constant eye contact during the introduction with your interviewer. If your eyes go away from your interviewer, you may seem insecure, dishonest or downright arrogant. You may have multiple conversation partner in a job interview. Try to give everyone the same amount of eye contact. Maintain eye contact with the person who is speaking. When someone asks a question, look them in the eye at the beginning of your answer and then shift your eyes to the other conversation partners. Try not to look away or turn your eyes downward when you give an answer to a question. It may make you feel comfortable, but it can also give the impression that you are insecure or that you aren't telling the truth. You want to come across as natural and pleasant to talk with. If you show healthy stress, then you will give the impression that the job is important to you. If you look too relaxed, then you may come across as indifferent. This may seem like stating the obvious, but if your seat has side rail, you must be tempted to lean to the left or to the right. Try to avoid this, sit up straight and keep your back against the backrest. Do you naturally talk with your hands? Go ahead and let them move during the interview. Stopping your natural gesture may lead to an awkward appearance. Just make sure your gesture doesn't become so enthusiastic that they distract from your words. Never cross your arms. Crossed arms give a closed impression and are often interpreted as lack of interest. Put your hands on your lap or on the table. If you put your arms and hands on the table, then gently lean over to your conversation partner. This way, you emphasize that you are listening attentively. Hold and move your hands in a calm and natural manner when you are talking. Try to keep your hands still if you are not talking. Don't pick on the table and don't make any rhythmic movements that can reveal your stress and irritate your interviewer. 
This may sound odd, but it is natural reflex to touch your nose, cheeks and lips when you are speaking. It is common way to calm yourself. Avoid this. If you touch your face too much or play with your hands, fingers or jewelry, you may be perceived as insecure. You should practice your body language as much as you rehearse your answers to common interview questions. Natural tendencies tend to take over when you are nervous, so you have to learn to consciously overcome them. Remember, the first image the interviewer has of you is most likely the one that will stick. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that when you go for an interview, you'll keep these tips in mind. If you found these tips useful, please share this video with friends and family members as well. In my upcoming videos, I'll talk in detail about how to prepare yourself for an interior design interview. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now. Till we meet next time, goodbye and take care.